Well, it's, it's obvious if you look at the number of uh, the sheer size of the community college segment in the United States, it's pretty clear that community colleges are the core, the centerpiece of the U.S. higher education system. And as such, I think they deserve a real focus on improving the experience of students in these community colleges. Uh, dropout rates are way too high, they're unacceptably high. And uh, I believe that with the appropriate use of technology and the appropriate f focus on the user-student experience, we can actually materially affect those dropout rates. Uh, I think just providing more access is not going to be the, the full answer. Uh, it's going to be a part of the answer. But the critical thing we have to focus on is understanding when and why these dropouts happen in community colleges. What is it that causes people to attempt to go to college, take a course, take a credit, and then kind of throw in the towel? And I believe that generally, as an education industry, we have not put the appropriate focus on understanding what drives that. What drives the motivation of a student? We have a lot of focus on faculty, we have a lot of focus on professors, and I think that's appropriate, but we need to add the focus on the student and the student experience. Coming back to what we said about community colleges, they are the heartbeat, they are the backbone of the education system. And we have now the ability to actually, with content and technology, to make them a lot more effective. That's what we should be focusing on. And frankly, this will ultimately determine the competitiveness of the United States and the world. If we can solve that problem, we will decline in competitiveness. And that is not being solved by producing more Nobel Prize winners. We're doing well on that dimension and we'll continue to do well. But we need to make sure that we have a workforce that is educated, fit for purpose, and ready to compete in an increasingly global environment.